You guys, this, <laughs> this little piece. Of in this video, we are going to be doing a full face full of as many Latino, Latina, Latinx brands. For this first video, I'm gonna just use what I what I have. And then if it like goes well, I'll continue to make more. I'll continue to, you know, look for Latino, Latina brands, buy products and you know, so I can try them out and so I can show you guys how the product works. Um, and also, so it's like a fun little way to feature other Latino, Latina brands. So yeah, that's basically what we're doing today. This shit is so cold. Okay, well these are not, I'm already starting off the video fantastic, right? These are not, well as far as I know, this is not a Latino brand. Okay, that's not a Latino brand, so don't mind these. I just have been getting really sunburnt. This Florida heat does not come to play. And every year I'm reminded of the struggle I have to face every June through fucking December. Because summer never ends here, bitch. Okay, now that I have these on, we're gonna get started with brows. The Latina Baddie Dominique. This is the... Oh my god, what is this called? <gasps> Pause. <laughs> oh, I hope that's not overexposed. I can't tell. Good luck, Charlie. Um, This is the Brow Frame Pencil by Dominique Cosmetics. It retails for $25. It comes in one, two, three, four, one. Now seven shades. I guess this black one is new. I love this one because first of all, the pigment, it's pigmented girl. That's one thing about these like drugstore pencils. They're not, they tend to be more ashy slash it doesn't last long. I love, 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 love her idea. This whole component thing. So the tip is a little square, a little square. Well, I mean, it's, it's a flat edge and then it's like angled and you can actually sharpen it with this thing that comes out of the bottom and it has a little spoolie, and then you just do, hold on, oh, hold up, hold up. You just do one of these. Or I don't even know if I'm doing the right girl, to be honest, but you know, you just get it, you just get your point sharp. Um, according to the website, um, it says that it's a four-in-one brow product. Never before seen brown pencil that can do it all. Carve the shape, fill in the brows, comb the hair, and sharpen to redefine the pencil tip for fine hair-like strokes. Our formula is infused with vitamin E to aid hair growth. <gasps> I didn't know that. It's, um, como se dice? Tiene vitamin E. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend the Dominique Cosmetics Brow Frame Pencil. In my humble opinion, I will be going in with a super, super secret product just to help me seal in my brows. So I'm gonna just blur this out so y'all don't see. So like I said, I don't have complexion products that are from a Latina brand just yet. Cause you guys are gonna let me know where to get some and what to get and what to try out. But I will just be putting a little bit of concealer on my eyes as primer. It's been like a minute since I've just sat down and tried stuff. So I'm, I think creating this like series will be really good for me to try out different brands, different products, you know, and just explore stuff while also um, feature other people. So that would be really cute. So Y'all know a good Latina brand that makes setting powder. Also let your girl know. This is her eye brush trio. Oh my gosh, you guys, I suck at pronouncing names. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this. Okay, but I think it's Mia by Mas Maciel, pero M-I-A or Mia by Maciel. And I'm saying that wrong, I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> but this is the eye brush trio, and I love this super fluffy brush. I love it, I love it. <laughs> I mean, wait, everything has its own thing, hold on. So she describes it as the trio of essential eye brushes that will make applying your eyeshadows a daily indulgence. By popular, by popular demand, we decided to bundle our three highly requested eyeshadow brushes. Virgo is a tapered blending brush, soft, fluffy bristles, ideal for blending colors smoothly. So this one's Virgo. I don't know anything else besides Aries. <laughs> So this is Virgo. Sorry to all my Virgos. I totally just did you dirty. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Okay, there. Th that's your spotlight. That was your little moment to shine, okay? Libra, which is a definer brush. You, I love this one. This one is a dense bristled brush used to accurate curves and precise definition around the eyes. So Cancer is a stubby brush meant to sweep eyeshadow powders across the lid. Now I'm gonna use this one just to buff out that powder I had. I low-key let it bake, that was not my intention, but here we are. Now going on to the very first eyeshadow powder. I have two for this video. I wanted to feature these two bad growth. The Charlie Brown palette from FB County. This is actually my sister's, but she um, gifted it to me. This is like a sleeve. Cute. Just the same design, but it'll this. Oh, this is really cute. Dude, this is all the names. She like barely used it. The other palette is by Alamar Cosmetics. This is the Destino palette, which she came out with in De last December. Yeah, last December. But it has a cute little thing right here, so. You can lock it and unlock it. Let me not fuck this up, but I think I'm gonna go in with shade gear. All right, she has a little bit of fallout. I'm not gonna even lie to you. We're both seeing where this is gonna go because I don't know where the hell this is gonna go. I didn't really think of an eye look. I'm just gonna put colors down and I wanna use as many as I can. So I'm gonna just start putting this on the outer V. Let me go in with a deeper shade. I think maybe it's too close to my skin color. So let me go with the deeper shade. I think I'm gonna go in with 1964. Shade Cali. All right, let's see how this looks on the lids. The lid, the lid, the lid, the lid. I think we'll just put this right on the outer corner. Oh, that's pretty. It's so funny, my sister, she loves, 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 loves the FB County brand. She has their like cargo pants, their belts, like she loves the brand, the lip gloss, the lip liners. <gasps> That'll be next, huh? That'll be next. But she lives by the lip liners actually, I forgot about that. She just had like a lot of makeup palettes and she's like, girl, just take it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, so I'll take it off your hands, free makeup, yes please. That is how we're looking right now. We can go in with shade Estrellas. I'm gonna go in with the, I forgot what this was, the definer brush. What was the definer brush? Libra. So for all you Libra girlies, this is your brush. I'm gonna need her to come out with an Aries brush. For the best of them all, me. I'm just kidding. Oh, this is cute. <gasps> this is more silver than I thought. It's like really frosty. Okay, this look took a turn. I was not expecting to look this frosty, but we're here, bitch. The next Latina, Latina owned brand, whatever you wanna call it, is my brand. And I'm gonna go in with our Chula Beauty Chula Liquid Liners. Chula Liquid Liner Duo was designed to set you up with the two classic colors you need most, black and brown. This duo comes with a deep black felt tip liquid liner and a rich brown felt tip liquid liner. The ultra precise felt tip offers enough control for an effortless application to get lines as detailed and exact as you need. So I'm gonna go in with our brown liner to keep it, you know, just more soft brown. And this is coming, this is becoming like a soft brown elegance look. So I'm gonna just go in with the brown. I'm still not a pro at wing liners, I know. Now let's see if I can just match it. That's the hardest part, am I right? I put myself through these things. Do not feel bad for me. I need to look straight on. That's the secret, you guys. If you have hooded eyes, you cannot be looking like down or you need to look like straight on. Otherwise your wing is gonna look not the best. Why the hell is this one way up here and this one's way down here? And we're gonna try this again. This time with confidence. That was my problem the first time. I think I did the same fucking thing. <gasps> well, that's as even as I'm gonna get them. We're gonna go in with the mascara. I got this from La, the Hefas, the Hefas box. And I haven't tried this actually. So only my mom has, cause I let her borrow it. But I was like, girl, I need a bath. GDB presents Dream On Vegan Mascara. Made in Italy. That's how I know it's good. It's a vegan and cruelty free formula. It's voluminizing, volumizing, I mean, what? Curling, lash defining, and promotes lash growth. Ooh. I think I've had these on too long. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. Ooh, ooh. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. Girl, it's been like nearly an hour. So it retails for 25 dollars. As seen on Cosmopolitan, Buzzfeed, Pop Sugar, Hip Latina, Women's Health, Despierta America. <gasps> 
Girl, this mascara has been everywhere. Oh my god. So we're gonna go in with this one. Oh, how could I almost forget? Before we do that, we're gonna go in with the Chula Beauty eyelash curler to curl our lashes. Just give it a quick little curl. I don't know, can you see? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna, you know what? I curled my lashes over here and they did curl. You just can't really see because uh, I have short lashes and usually my lashes, they don't hold the curl and with a lot of mascaras that I try, it doesn't hold. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if it's because I don't apply enough layers, but I'm not really a mascara girly either. So I haven't given many the chance, but we'll see if Miss Thing does what she does. It's infused with a blend of natural oils. This formula softens and gives shine to lashes, promoting their growth, making them look full and longer. Let's see, natural oils, coconut oil, baob oil, repairs and castor oil. Okay, cute, yes, castor oil, yes, castor oil is that girl, in case you haven't noticed. I mean, it's just basically saying that it's gonna make your lashes like healthy. So this is like a skincare infused, you could say skincare, <laughs> a healthcare like infused mascara. So my nickname is Pendeja, which apparently means beautiful in Spanish. Okay, wait, it's zigzag. Maybe this is what they were talking about, girl. Oh yeah, I see a difference. So I don't know if it's just me, but it feels, I hope I haven't dried out this mascara, but it feels dry, like a cream. Not, not the mascaras are liquidy, but like it feels more thicker. Like it, it, like it, like it has like a thicker consistency, or at least like I keep reapplying it and it feels like the lashes are sticking to each other. Let me just use like another spoolie I have here just to, kind of come through them. So like it definitely made them darker. If you're just looking for like a mascara to just kind of amplify your natural lashes, just make them look longer, darker, like more beautiful, while also like promoting growth and keeping them healthy. I mean, I think it's good for that girl. Yeah, like I can actually see my inner corner lashes with this. Now I'm gonna go in with the one and only, the Chula Beauty Lashes. This is my brand again. Sorry guys, I know, I know. This should be the last of my brand. Our lash glue, every bad girl who uses lashes knows about this formula. It will hold your lashes. You don't have to worry about them, you know, falling off or whatever when you're at the baile, when you're out and about, when doing groceries, or at school, at work. She's got you and then I'm just going in with Style, can you see? Style Chicana, which is one of my favorites. And this is our best seller. I always tell people, I always recommend for you guys to run the glue along the lash line and just bulk it up a little bit more at the very ends, like your inner corner and the outer corner. I see that seguras that it will less likely lift, you know, on the corner. And then we just have to let it dry. You have to let it get tacky. If you don't let it get tacky, girl, then your glue won't work 100%. Oh, and I see, just, I love using my fingers because it's so much easier, but you know, do what you gotta do, girl. Just letting that drop. So that's Chicana on one eye living for her and now i'm gonna do the same on the other eye <laughs> i'm back i just did concealer the elf halo glow uh some cream bronzer <laughs> this has perfume in it which you could smell but i mean i have oh my god i have my mouth <laughs> Rest in peace. Oh, I forgot. Okay, I have the Beauty Creations Powder Foundation, but I don't think it's my shape. I love, though, how they be printing on the inside of the box. That is so cute. And also, this compact is gorgeous. It's really adorable. So it says it has buildable coverage. It has a velvet matte finish, and it is multi-use. What other uses? Maybe like to set makeup, I don't know. Multi-use, long wear, oil free. I wanna give it a fair shot, but it's just, I didn't choose this, I was gifted this. Oh, I already got the puff dirty, fuck. But like, it's really cute, it has their logo on it, it's really soft, Um, but this is the color. I mean, we should give it a go. So I loaded it up, just to see how it lays down product. Oop. My hand is not the same color as my face, you guys. <laughs> this sponge just made like... 
I'm just tapping it all over my T-zone. And let's hope for the best, bestie. Now I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy brush. Oh no. I think it left marks. It's, okay, it's cute, it's cute. Let me just add a little bit more, a little bit more. The edge of this puff, like, it's hard to buff it out. It's kind of low-key set there. I mean, it's a foundation, it's not a loose powder, you know, so I guess shouldn't expect it to behave like loose powder, but this product isn't for me, because I'm not really into powder foundation. But by the looks of my hand, I mean, it's got coverage. I would say medium. Now, we are going to go in with the Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. I love these palettes, girl. She has like a blush and a uh, hydrating complex, complexion, what? A hydrating complexion trio, which is just a bronzer and then it has like a brightening powder and it has like a deeper, what is it? And a deepener. And then this one is just like a light coral peach. Uh, pretty pissy pink. In the middle, this one's a little too powerful for me. I like to go in with this one and then tap it off with this one. This one is a really cute color, but it has like, it has like glitter in it almost. I don't say glitter, but it has like some sort of like specks in there. Um, and it wasn't my favorite at first, but like it's grown on me, but I barely use it. But it's grown on me. So actually, let me just show you Peach Beach all by itself on my skin tone. I'm gonna go in. I like Peach Beach because it's more, um, how would you say, forgiving? Or it's more more natural, I guess, on the skin, on my skin tone at least. So that's why I like to use this one because it's more like she's there, but she's not all the way there, you know what I mean? And then we can use Fruta Bomba to give it that extra oomph, that extra pink. And I honestly just mix the two. Yeah. Yeah, she's there. On the chinny chin chin, just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> I just like to go in with Soltera. It's what I mainly use. Maybe a little bit of um, I'm Woke, which is the brightening one. Actually, let me go with that one first. I'm gonna just go in with, I like to go in with my little power, power with my powder puff. Just tap it on my hand real quick. And then I go in. And then I also carve just my nose a little bit. A C. And then with this one, I'm just gonna put a little bit right here where my smile lines are. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. A little bit right under my like wing, just to help wing out my eye as well and just lift it right here. So it says, it is infused with hyaluronic acid and with complexion in mind. Our Colorette Blush Trio includes three dreamy shades designed to give you a flush radiant glow. Our buttery smooth formula, True, contains micro shimmers that give the appearance of sun-kissed skin without all the sun damage. Our blush trios are, are formulated to glide seamlessly over your cheeks while offering maximum pigmentation. Natural flush cheeks or high pigment drama. Perfect for any type of mommy, period. Period. All right, so again, like I said, I'm going with Chaito Soltera just on the perimeter of my face. I think this brush is way too big, but it's fine. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Oh yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend, period. Now moving on, I just wanna try a sample. A sample of something super secret I got going on. Um, and you guys tell me, Guys, tell me if you guys are feeling the vibe or if you're not. Okay, be honest. I'm gonna just go in. I'm gonna just go in, you guys. I'm gonna just go in. So let me know how you guys like this. I'm gonna just hit this right here. Up in my eye, just a little bit, just a little bit. Right here, just give it that sun-kissed glow. This side versus this side. What do the girls think? Let me know. I don't know. I like it. I love it. I think it's like good. I just don't know if the girls are gonna like this color because it's very scary, I guess you could say. At first glance. Yeah. Yeah, whoa. Whoa. That was like too much. Hold on. Now, up next, last but not least. Oh 
Oh, I hate that. I hate when brands don't fucking tell you who the owner is, who the founder is, how it started. Why should I care about your brand over other? <sighs> OMG, why did I think it was like a Latina brand? Why the fuck did I think that this was a Latina brand? They have like decent products. They have like good products. <laughs> I'm confused and the website doesn't really say much. I'm gonna skip that. Sorry guys. Well, that's less products, less brands of feature, but I just, like girl, well maybe it's not if they're not like promoting that. So I'm just gonna go with mine. Uh. Okay, so these, <laughs> um, these are um, some samples. I do not want to give them away. Okay, I'm gonna just give away this color because it's a trusty dust, a trusty dusty. It is the trusty color, like a very, I'm gonna do the brown. Okay, I'm gonna do the brown lip liner, just like a classic brown, just the sample for the color, like it's not printed yet. And then I'm gonna go in with the lip glosses that I have. Uh, so yes, I'm revealing it to you guys. I'm revealing it, the secret is out. Lips are coming back. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with lip samples. So these are more samples, I'm sorry guys, I keep teasing stuff, but. That's really disappointing though. Like I really thought like there's a lot more brands like girl. I'm like I know there is I just didn't prepare fully for this, which is fine. It's fine. Ooh. This lip is giving <laughs> It's getting <laughs> Oh, that is so cute. Shut up. Okay, I want to have like a defined line so I won't blend it. Stop. Stop. Man. Okay. What do you guys think of the lips? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl. I have I have ideas for this, but I mean if y'all wanna throw some some names out there, like what color is this giving? Like who is she? <laughs> Me making <laughs> Bitch, you wish. You wish. You see, that's like a cute it's pigmented almost like a lipstick. It's very opaque, but it's a gloss. This is the final look using I try to include everything, but I think I'm missing stuff. But this is the entire finished look using as many Latina brands as I could. Um, this was very fun to do and um, I need to prepare more for the next video. You guys need to let me know what brands to look for, what like really good products from those brands I should try out. Let me know below. I wanna try stuff out, I wanna try the products out, I wanna try new brands out, and I wanna feature them in the video. Please, of course, subscribing and you know, throwing a little like in there helps out the channel or whatever. Let me know about what you think about the, this little blush topper. Is she it or the lips as well?